What do you think? Are you going to DJ? No, I'm going to meet the libraries people. The libraries people? People at the library. How come you don't say library? Because most people, don't you think most? 70% of the population says library. I have library. only met one person, two people in my life, my five-year-old son and you. Seriously? Well, you can add Jackson Hole Radio newsman Tom Ninema, okay. even though he denies it every time library. we catch him. Do you say sandwich as well? Sandwich and prolly. <laughs> What's prolly? Probably. Oh, probably. Well, you got to get with it, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like... Come on. What's going to happen in an hour and a half? Um, it is free scoop day, 4 to 7 oh. at Hagen Bows. We're pretty excited about that. Are we going on a field trip? Maybe, yeah. Awesome. Do, do, do you get like the good scoop? Yeah, I or think the well. the crummy cardboard scoop? Well, can uh, you, for you the can cone. choose whatever ice cream you I mean, can, It's a cone, cone, a basic cone, either one. And I think she has like four or five. Well, you got to rock the sugar cone. It's like we're or pretty excited Nova. about that. Um, got some new stuff on Half Off. The Juggernauts are playing this week. They have a double header against um, Missoula, actually. Have you been to any of those? No, I haven't been. I've seen them practice. I haven't And it either. looks rugged. It looks like really fun. Whoa. I mean... They fall down a lot? Oh, yeah, on a concrete floor. Yeah. Seriously, I... Whoa, but man. they wear like tutus and right. like, fishnet stockings while doing it, so they make it, it look fierce and pretty really like at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's and cool. I thought it was going to be like just for show, you know. Yeah. But it, this was for a real game and for real competition. Yeah, they have tryouts and everything. Yeah, they? yeah. That's I, I think it's pretty competitive. So how much are the tickets and how? Ha so you get two tickets for ten dollars, normally twenty. So yeah, definitely get on oh, there. there you Museum go. of Idaho too. They have this awesome carousel exhibit going on right now, and we're um, the exhibit's over in a couple weeks, so we're almost out of tickets for mm -hmm. them too. So definitely get on that. Half off J H. Yes. Yeah, you better get to it. Hey, the other day we were over uh, at Phil Box. I don't know why people call that Phil Bow Park, where the climbing rock is, and we were taking a photo of this fella here, and if he looks kind of old. He is kind of old. He's 84 years old. And he, he was up there, he was grabbing the rock, and I couldn't help but thinking the people that were around, you know, some kids were around with their parents, and some people were around to take their turn climbing. And they probably looked over, and they probably saw this guy, and they thought, look at all the old geezer trying to get up that rock. He ain't <laughs> ever getting up that rock. This guy got yeah. up the biggest rock. This Mount is, Everest. This big Jim Whitaker, man. It's scale like, Everest, awesome 29,000 feet. So How tall is he? Don't worry, you can get to the top of the rock. In 1963, too, right? Yeah, in 1963, That's too. a very good year. 1963, also. What? Is that your airport? Whenever, the rule is whenever you, you <coughs> can, can be confusing your numbers, 1963, too. Oh, I think. People hear that and they go, wait a minute, is it 63? So you say 1963, also. It was a big year in our office. Yeah, here he is. On Are you 63 top. as well? Four and sixty-three. Yeah, it's me too. And Gina, you were yeah. as well, right? No, oh, she's a youngin. Eighty-nine. <laughs> yeah, and I was. So don't even want to know what I was doing in eighty-nine. Yeah, I know. The year I got married. That was the year I was in Salt Lake City going to grad school. Oh wow. I was coming out of breath now. Continue. <laughs> 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 uh, let's go. Hey, we all did. <laughs> Uh, let's take five while I get that image out of my head. <laughs> it was very interesting. J Jim Whitaker is in town. The Teton County Library has a week-long mountain festival story. And all the guys who summited in 63, this famous expedition, they're all here. Including, you know, Jim Whitaker was the first American on top, but also with his gang, they split up he right near the top. First American to get First on American on top. Of Everest ever? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it was a race to see it be him or his teammates. And his, the guys with him on the team, Willie Unsold and a couple other dudes, um, they took a different route as they neared the top because there was a blizzard. They thought, right, we're going to take a different route. Maybe it's not right. blizzarding over there. It was better weather, but they took the west route, which is, I, if it's been done since then, it's been done like once or twice. It's insane. It's stupid. Nobody would look at this and say, I want to go up that way. But and these did. guys, Willie Unsold and this other guy did, and they made it. It was, yeah, it was crazy. Everybody made it except for Jake. Jake. Oh. Right. <coughs> But they did find his Bach. body Bach, yeah. recently, yeah. which is interesting. And there's there are a lot of um, bodies on Everest. There are a lot of there's a lot of litter on Everest. 
really? it's very crowded nowadays. It yes, is. Mm -hmm. and it's an issue. And if uh, Friday night, Mark Jenkins will speak at the Pink Garter Theater about Everest 60 years later after after the first ascent and what it's like now. And it's big business now, and it's very crowded. Yeah, it's a money game, and it's it's weird. It's different. What else is in the paper this week? Uh, we have food. I don't know how much you oh, yeah. With I love Geraldine. Food. Geraldine says, you know it's summer when the bluebirds arrive, the robins arrive, the hummingbirds arrive. No, when Dordans opens and starts slinging pizza outside on that deck. Oh, man. A third pizza is pretty good. She had the buffalo bolognese, though, and she said it was really good. And it's funny. She's so funny. Best views around, that's for sure. What else we got? News or... We got, um, let me see. I don't remember He's reading Redneck or Grandma. Grandma's next no, week. One. One. Oh. Get Out? Oh, Get Out, yeah. you got to try the Get Out that I I usually hike it in the fall. It's behind Togety Pass. If you go to Togety Mountain Lodge and you go from there to Turpin Meadows Trailhead, which is a little 6.6 mile hike oh. behind kind of Togety at the southern end of the thoroughfare, the most rugged, roadless place in the world. And there are tons of grizzlies in there. Did you see any? I didn't see any the last time I did it, but every step I took, uh, literally every step I took, I put my foot in the print of a grizzly yeah. bear. Really? Yes. And Tuck was with me, and we were both, we had our heads on a swivel. Yeah, I, like, well, I rode horses at Turpin Meadows. Bear, bear, bear grizzly print, in there. paw really? prints every step of yeah. the way. But it's fun. And I told you how to do it and stay alive. So Kay. read that. Ice. Off yeah. to some ice cream. See you next week. Oh, yeah, ice cream. Bye.